Are you ready for the extreme heat? You might be, but is your car? KMIR 6's Jessica Flores takes us under the hood and investigates how you can save gas and money this summer. As temperatures heat up, so will your car. It has to work harder to keep cool and you're likely to spend more money on gas. But there are some simple ways that you can save yourself from some headaches. If your engine is the heart of your car, think of gas as the blood pumping through it. Now think of summer as a marathon for your car. It's taking all it's got to get through the heat. I gotta get to work, so what do you do? With air conditioners blasting and gas prices rising, your wallet is taking a beating. Nobody's paying us more money because the price of gas is going up and everything else goes up. But something as simple as lightening your load and your speed can go miles to save you cash. It's figured that about for every five miles an hour that we exceed uh, 60 miles an hour, it costs about 25 cents more per gallon. You'll also want to keep your tires inflated and think twice before rolling down the windows instead of using the air conditioning. As the windows are down, it's going to create more of a drag. And so you sometimes are not going to have uh, that much of a savings. Uh, from running the air conditioning versus uh, having the windows down. The type of gasoline you use could be driving costs up more than you think. Do you know what, what uh, grade of gas you should be using? No. I know that I should use the cheap stuff. <laughs> Not necessarily because it's good for my car, but because it's good for my pocket. Most cars that are on the road today do not require to, to to go with a higher grade uh, with that. They burn you know, very well, they run very, very well, and so you're most likely you're, you're just kind of wasting money by uh, thinking I'm going to do a better job, it's going to burn cleaner. No, those things are not happening. Keeping a full tank of whatever fuel could steer your car away from the shop. We do tend to run the fuel tank or the amount of fuel in there to, to almost to empty then that will sometimes will allow that fuel pump to overheat and then it will fail. And that is one of the, uh, one of the big reasons why we have uh, vehicle breakdown uh, here in the desert is because of uh, you know, fuel pumps overheating and then failing. According to AAA, about $1.25 a gallon could be saved by following these simple tips. But the most savings perhaps comes from checking your car before even starting your engine. This debris gets in here and it gets lodged in the front of the condenser and it restricts the airflow of the, of the air going through the radiator and that's what can make a car run hotter and or overheat. At Pete's Automotive in Thousand Palms, overheated cars are rolling in. So you should see some cooling in there. Yes, the recovery tank has usually two lines as you can see and the level should be in between those two lines there. And it's just amazing that all these electronic components you know, stay together and work underneath these conditions. So the the least you can drive your car in these extreme temperatures, you know, the better and the longer your life will, your car will last. Keeping off the road, not an option for many, but keeping smart in the heat and your car could be headed in the right direction. All the tips you just learned, you can start using right away and combine with some patience and you'll be saving money down the road. I'm Jessica Flores reporting in Thousand Palms for KMIR 6 News.